Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Chris Share back for another video. Um, tonight's video is going to be um, a crochet with me video because I looked and it's been a while since I did one so I figured while I really didn't have anything to do tonight I would make one. Um, I am working on a butterfly shawl but I just realized that I messed up um, so I have to frog two rows. So that is what I am up to. What is everybody working on tonight? Um, what is everybody, how's everybody's week been? How's the weather? Just that type of stuff. I was really getting into it my shawl but I noticed that when I did my arms hurt <laughs> I noticed that when I went back through when I was on the half double crochet row I noticed that I had nine stitches instead of eight stitches I had too many stitches in that one area okay so, at least I didn't have to frog that row completely. So I put three stitches in the one stitch instead of just two. Let me make sure I'm right now. Yeah, okay. So I'm back to... I'm back on track now. Um... I don't really know what to talk about tonight. Um, what is what has everybody been working on? Um, me, I've been working on a lot of projects. Um, been working on mostly shawls, um, mittens. I just started a a baby blanket that I'm really happy with. Um, I will tell you this, I did a, I started a corner to corner, which was supposed to be a blanket. Well, it's not a blanket anymore. It was going to be a baby boy blanket, but I do not know what it is with me in corner to corner. I, I get like real happy when I first start the blank or when I first start my project and I don't know it like something just like I'm real happy with it and I start it and I get really far and then it's like I just lose steam on it like I just don't like I was making supposed to be making a baby boy blanket and it ended up turning into a baby or a little girl shawl because I just got tired of working on it and that's what I usually do with corner to corner I work on it for a while and then I'm like oh, I cannot wait till this is done and I just stop maybe it was my color choices that I use even though it was using one of my favorite two well technically it's one of my favorite colors which is blue um it was two different shades of blue, and I don't know what it is with corner to corner, but I guess solid colors just bore me to tears. I guess I, maybe I'll try a variegated color, because solid color just is not doing anything for me anymore. Um, I love all these graphs that people, these graph gans that people are making, but I know I can never completely commit to them because every time I start a corner to corner, I lose steam on it. So I'm not going to, you know, do any graphs or anything because I get bored with corner to corner very, very easily. Um, 
and all my shawls that I started, we have a shoot on Sunday, if it doesn't rain. We've had some really, really nice days these last couple of days. And my grams looked at the weather and said it was supposed to be nice on Sunday. I just hope she's right because I want to go to my shoot. Um, I want to see everybody. And so, yeah, I'm excited for our shoot on Sunday. I will probably do my regular video on Sunday after we get back, let you know how my, what my results are. Um, I was really close to getting a 250 sticker my last shoot, but I dropped two points in my last round. I do, so, I don't even know what it is. I do so good the entire match. And then the last match I dropped two points. So I don't know what it is at all like at all I don't <sighs> I just don't know oh I wanted to show you the shawl pull a big loop out so I'm rip it out so this is my butterfly shawl yes I am doing it in a single color this is main stays green um, I had to get, okay, so I started two projects with it and I thought I had more, but I didn't. I thought I had another full skein, but I didn't. So I went to the lock cave, I went to the lock cave in Walmart so my mom could see her boyfriend with them and um they had two skeins of the screen and i'll tell you what usually when i buy yarn i buy one or two skeins and leave the rest but for for this one they had two skeins and i grabbed both of those skeins i was a little selfish because i felt a little selfish after i you know bought those two skeins but I really needed them because I started a loom knit project with them. I started a, um, a loom knit scarf in the same green with blue. And then I started this butterfly shawl. And I'm going to be making a lot of butterfly shawls. I really like the pattern. It's very pretty. But I think the one that I'm, the first one I made it in was in the, um, it was the sweet roll and it was the one that had the cream, white, and pink in it. And I really liked that one, but I made that one for a little girl. And I figured, you know, maybe not everybody likes variegated yarn. I love variegated yarn. I said maybe not everybody likes variegated yarn. So I was like, well, I'm just going to make some... Um, solid color ones and that's what I'm going to be doing and I keep doing double crochet instead of triple crochet <clears throat> so yeah I figured I would do a crochet with me tonight because I was kind of bored and I was watching videos and thought that I wanted to talk to people and talk to you guys and Sorry if I'm looking at my work and not not looking at the camera. Um, I don't know if I gave you guys an update, but I had a doctor's appointment on the 19th of this month. And I don't like my doctor. My doctor came in, first of all. The board, you know how they have boards and they have all the doctors, you know, names on them and it tells you if they're on time or if they're late or whatever. So it said my doctor was on time. Well, my appointment was at 11.10 and I didn't go back into the room until 11.25. Then, I 
waited back there for probably 10 to 15 minutes till he came in. And I lost some weight. And we got to talking about like healthier, you know, snack choices and that kind of stuff. And I mentioned to the nurse that I needed a pill and I got them from a doc from my family doctor and I got them from my psychiatrist and um So the lady, the nurse, you know, put it in the into the system, into the the notes or whatever. And when he came in, he didn't talk about anything except for my weight, how I lost some weight to um, healthier snacks and healthier choices and stuff. So. I also wanted to talk to him about that there is a mole underneath my arm and it's really sore. And about, okay, which side is it on? This mole right here keeps getting bigger. I also wanted to um, talk to him about how I'm having pain in my feet all the time. And I feel like I'm just a talking head. And, um, yeah, he didn't talk about anything else other than my weight, and that was it. And then he said, I'll send your, I'll send you out, and I'm like, um, okay. He didn't ask me if I had anything else I needed to talk to him about, or, or anything. Also... He didn't even, like, you know how you go to, like, any doctor, and they listen to your heart, they listen to your lungs. He didn't do that. He didn't do anything. Nothing. Didn't listen to my heart. Nothing. My lungs, nothing. And, and I've been having, like, weird, um, like, my voice is scratching a lot. And when I cough, it sounds like I'm hacking up a hairball and stuff. And I was going to, you know, ask him, like, is this normal? You know, I had a cold and um, the cold is gone. It was only like a 24-hour thing. and But yeah, he didn't even listen to my heart or my lungs. So I told my grim today that I think I want to change my doctor. Because this isn't the first time that I've gone to my doctor and and also what he does is instead of talking about me, he talks a lot about his patients that he has. Um, like how his patient, the ones on the 19th, story he told me on the 19th was about a woman who, you know, wanted to lose weight and wanted to, um, lap band surgery and how he told her that let's wait a while you know get a bike so well he told her that he rode a bike at 5 30 in the morning and she was like questioning him about why he was up so early to ride a bike and then she ended up getting a, um, one of those ones that you sit on and you paddle and how she lost like 115 pounds and she still rides that bike and she could only, in the beginning, she could only ride it for two minutes and how it took her nine months to be able to ride that thing for an hour. I thought to myself, I don't care about her. I want you to talk about me and how I'm doing. You know what I mean? I just, yeah, that was like the. Like, even, I went by myself. Well, my mom took me, but she sat in the car. And when I got in there, she's like, what took so long? I'm like, wow. Well, talked about all of this and all of that and how I lost some weight. And and then I'm like, he didn't even listen to my heart and my lungs. To make sure everything was okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm like seriously thinking about changing my doctor. 
It's going to be a hassle, but I need to get a better doctor. One that isn't going to tell me for talk to me for an hour about other people's stories. By the way, it is 11:38 p.m. here. It is 8:24, 2018. And um What else was I going to tell you? So, you can find me. I will link all of my um, places where you can find me down in the description box. And if you have anything that you need to ask me about my podcast or of any, of pretty much anything, um, you can send me an email at elizabethalice1991 at gmail.com. I made, no, no, that's not it. That's not it. Don't, don't, that's my real address, email address. But for this podcast, it is a crafty crochet1991 at gmail.com. That's it. I'm finally almost back to where I was when I ripped it out. So that's good. The first time I made this shawl, I had to rip it out so many times. But this one is actually, that was my first actual mistake. My first actual, like, big mistake where I had to frog. Before it was, like, a frog a lot, I mean. Before it was, like, a couple of stitches, but... Knock on wood. It, um, it's going pretty well. Now, like I was telling about my shoot. So, I have several shawls started. But I am leaving those until our shoot on Sunday. Because we get there so early. Like, our shoot doesn't start till 10 o'clock. And, um, we get there about 8.30, 8.15, somewhere around there. We leave at 6 in the morning. Because it's like an hour and a half away. So we leave at 6 in the morning. We get there very, very early. And then, for two hours, we just sit around and bull crap with everybody. So, um, so yeah, I had a, I don't know if I told you this guys yet or before, but I had my shooters party and I had a blast. I swam when I swam in the rain because I swam in the rain because he wanted me to swim and um, I did and it was raining and I'm like it looks like it's not going to stop anytime soon and I'm like well it's, I'm going to get wet when I get in the pool so I'm just going to go for it so I did I got in the pool. And swam about 20, 25 laps. And then I got out because I was cold. I was cold so I got out and changed my clothes. And I always, I don't know about you guys. But like when I get out of a pole. I freeze. all I freeze every single time I get out of the pole. So... I I all I take pants with me if I go in a, if I know I'm going to swim I take a pair of pants after I get for a while after I get out because I freeze and there was a <laughs> the funny thing I don't know if I told you guys about I think I told you guys about how I was working on a shawl and I finished it and I had to give it to my gram to keep her warm because it was really breezy there hmm. I 
I messed up again, and I don't know how. Maybe I didn't. I, I just don't remember. We'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when I get to the end of this row. And I have to add my cake. So, I was telling you that I had to go to Walmart to get, um, you know, I had to get, I had to get the screen. Well, I also had to get yarn for the, uh, the baby blanket that I just started because I was at my mom's and I didn't have the colors that I wanted. And, well, I did have, technically I did have the colors that I wanted. But they were all from Mike. They were some were from Michael's. Some was from Joanne's. Cause when I go to Michael's or Joanne's, I always get one. I always get one skin of every color that I like. So, so I wanted like the Red Heart Super Saver or Mainstays because you know that's. That's what I use a lot. So I I got the yarn that I was looking for. It's not right. So I got the colors that I needed. And I needed white. They had one white. One white. That's all they had. That's all they had. And I don't know about your guys' yarn section, your yarn aisle at your Walmart, but mine, like I keep telling you in my video, so I have three Walmarts located 20, 25, 30 minutes away from me. And they all are set up completely different. And the Walmart down in La Haven, I, um, um, they have like a, they have a different selection. And so you have to like kind of look cause they're kind and like this one, the one down there was very, very scarce with the yarn. Especially mainstays is what they were really scarce with. Okay, I think I messed up because... Yeah, I did because I should have been in that stitch. Right? No, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm right. I am like so confused right now. Like I don't know what it is, but we'll find out if I'm right on this side. Anyway, so the yarn out on there was like very, very scarce. Like I, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Wow, I've already been talking for 25 minutes. Doesn't seem like that. But like I was saying, sorry, I was counting. Because it still seems like I messed up somewhere. But anyway, so um, like I was saying, like the yarn was very scarce. They hardly had any mainstays. I think the only ones that they had was like the gold, um, the pink. They had two purple, two blue. Um, like it was very, very scarce. And I found what I wanted was spring green by Red Heart. But they didn't have spring green in Red Heart. All they had was the green and mainstays. So I got it. They had two of them and I got them both. So yeah. And then, before, before me and my mom, or after me and my mom went, dropped her boyfriend off at his house, we wanted to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get, my mom wanted one of those frozen lemonades that they have. And I got a, um, blue berry something, it was just called berry, and I ended up... You can't see it. But they filled it so full. They filled it so full that, um, the, it was coming out the top of it. And I went to drink some out of it where the straw goes through. And one of the plastic triangles went right through my lip. The inside of my lip. Can't even tell what's, can't even tell what was cut, but. But yeah. Like I couldn't put the straw in first because it was so full that every time I put the put try to push it down, more of it just kept coming up. So I was like, fine, I'm gonna shrink some out of it. Oh by the way, yeah, if you can't see couldn't see it. I was drinking Red Mountain Dew. Like I said, I will have all of my links in the description box. I want to say thank you to my 397 subscribers. Um... It sure does mean a lot to me to see that every so many people watch me. I also want to say thank you for everyone who has um, asked to join a Crafty Crochet in, in my group. I really do appreciate it. Um... I just wanted to see how many members we had. We are up to 49 members. And I just want to thank everybody for, you know, coming over. And it is under... It is under... In, on Facebook, it is a Crafty Crochet. Um, I'm thinking about putting podcast after that. Um, I don't even know how I can change that. Okay, I just changed it. So, it is, n Facebook is now under a Crafty Crochet podcast. 
Um, but like I said, I just want to thank everybody for joining me tonight and who will watch this video. Um, I kind of want to do these more often, but those live chats got away from me. I don't know when I'm going to do a live chat next. Um, I don't really know. Oh, I want to show you guys something. So, I watched um, The Proper Pineapple, Holly. And she was showing how to, excuse me, make movable limbs on your animals. And she uses movable limbs for her dolls. And she um, had this humongous needle that she was using that her husband made her. If you, have a, if you don't know about Miss Proper Pineapple, you really need to go check her out. Because she is so adorable. She is so cute. Um, but she had these humongous needles. Or she had this humongous needle for her dolls that her husband made her. And I don't have a husband that makes stuff for me like that. So I found these. Yes, they're like literally this big. I found these at Walmart. They were like, the smaller sizes was like $3 and these bigger ones for the one, the first, the $3 one, you got three sizes. This one you get four for like four bucks. So, so, um, so you have a six inch, an eight inch, a 10 inch and a 12 inch. Chances are I'm not going to use the 12 inch and the 10 inch. I will probably use the 8 inch and the 9 inch or the 6 inch. But I got them anyway because you never know when you need a big needle. Um, but yeah, um, so those are some of the, that's one of the new things that I got. I also, okay, so this is a funny story. So I've been using the same lead pencils that I've had since I was in school. I've been out of school since 09, okay? And I probably threw five lead pencils away the other day because I was writing something down. I wanted to write something down and I could not find a pencil that would work. So I went to Walmart and I bought, I have to sharpen some of them. I bought these very, very colorful pencils, very colorful. Some of them, um, the one that I was using was this one right here and the tip is broke. So I'm going to sharpen that one. But yeah, I thought they were really cool. And I also, I like lead pencils, but I also like, um, mechanical pencils. Ah! I'm good. I'm all good. It's all good. So I've also <laughs> bought lead pencils. I got a pack of 24 for like $2 and something. And I use lead pencils a lot. And I think I'm going to have to fix that. Because they're, like, not staying straight. I also go through duct tape quite a bit because some of my, um, when I get boxes, when my mom sends me boxes down and I take stuff to Goodwill or to, like, the face center or something, I guess I'm going to have to do two of them, so. When she takes me to Goodwill, I always, um, like to have duct tape around so that I can tape the boxes shut. So, that's why I have a humongous roll of duct tape. And I'm just going to stick that here. Let's take that there. <laughs> if you know, if you, um watch me for any length of time. I can kind of... I have to pick those up then. 
but I can pretty much do I'm I'm not street smart or I'm not book smart but I'm kind of street smart I can kind of figure things out pretty quickly um but like I was saying I just wanted to get on here and no I can't get the pencil sharpener out of the thing Because I think I'm going to take a break from crocheting and actually write some of the stuff down. Um, there's several patterns on Ravelry that I really, really want to write down before I go to my mom's. And since my arm, or my, and since it's getting kind of late, I just want to kind of not think about stuff. So I think... That is what I'm going to do. So like I said, thank you everybody for joining me tonight for watching this. My links will be in the, de in the description below. And if you need to email me or send me a question or something about my podcast, um, you can find me at a crafty crocheter1991 gmail at gmail.com so thank you everybody for sticking around and i will talk to you guys probably sunday bye